Welcome to our five on five. Please welcome in David Cunningham. He's a Krav Maga trainer. David, thank nice you. To meet her. Thank you for Pleasure having me. Pleasure to see you. So April uh, coming coming soon is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. We want to talk a little bit about uh, self defense and particularly for women, but I suppose for for everybody. Good. Um, I guess my first question is, what's the most important thing people should know about self defense? Well, people, women in general, and people in general. I think of sexual assault. Uh, being a sexual assault awareness month, I think what we're focusing on is the situational awareness. And I think dealing with situational awareness and being aware of your surroundings, and it's come more to fruition after after our 9-11 situation. People, you know, with the Me Too movement and um, uh, see something, say something, what we're really focusing on is getting people to be aware of their surroundings and having that ability to remove the opportunity of, uh, uh, of bad things happening right. in their life. Okay. And if they do that, that's gonna be the first step and the most important step to that. At what age should, should young, young women, young, young boys, anything, uh, start learning self-defense? Well, at our school, we teach 12-year-old on up, and uh, we don't have a kid's class right now. We put them right in with the adults, 12 years old. It's very difficult for, uh, for the younger generation, the younger kids, to get a grasp on self-defense. Uh, you know, we'd rather them be kids. Uh, but if they're going to be doing self-defense, then we want to start them about that age. Getting on up to 14, we start classes uh, with this with this uh, free class coming up mm -hmm. uh, in uh, April on April 28th. That's going to be 14 and up. Okay, and what uh, you referenced the Me Too movement. It's yes, obviously it's it's becoming something we're all talking about much more. Have you noticed more of an interest in in self defense? I have definitely over the years. We've seen an influx of um, uh, of women coming into the coming into self-defense and a lot more people more interested in actual self-defense rather than martial arts. Hmm. Okay, what's the difference? To well, the difference the, the is, difference. yeah, yeah. Uh, having been a, a third degree black belt under uh, Mr. Chuck Norris in that system uh, for many years, uh, we focus a lot on tournaments and sparring and fighting and um, uh, forms. There's none of that in Krav Maga. Krav Maga is a simple self-defense that utilizes your natural movements refined into, in, into lethal techniques. Interesting. Okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll have much more in just a moment. Thank Stay you. with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're talking with David Cunningham, a local Krav Maga trainer. It's an Israeli martial art in case, uh, excuse yes. me, not a martial art. You said self-defense. That not is a a self-defense. Okay. All right. Yes. So we're talking about uh, April being a sexual assault awareness month. Is it better to know many techniques or one or two that you just know cold? Well, the way that we look at it is you have a, uh, you have a virtual bag that you dra drag with you everywhere you go, and it has to do with the muscle memory that you develop. You're going to perform how you train. And if you don't have the training to be able to work this self-defense, uh, then uh, it's not going to go well for you. So multiple techniques is better to learn over a longer period of time. That way you have time to practice them, have time to go through them, work with partners, uh, work with actual uh, uh, assailants that we have set up in the class. Mm -hmm. We do scenario training. So I would think more techniques you know gives you a larger uh, ability to expand on uh, uh, on what you need to do sure. to what, be able to get out of a situation. When it comes to human instinct, fight or flight, can you yeah. train that? Into yeah, you people can. Reacting quickly? Yeah, there's there's something that goes on in our. You know, we talk about fight or flight, but one thing we don't talk about is the freezing portion of that. Nobody talks about the panic, and what happens there is that uh, when you perform how you train, in order to perform well, you have to have a large repertoire of, of techniques to choose from. And they have to be muscle memory. If they're not muscle memory, you don't have anything to pull from. Mm. So we teach the students to be able to, to expand on the number of techniques that they have. And, and, and the training can be at least a year long. It can be longer than that or shorter than that, depending on what the person uh, wants okay. and how they want to go about that. Okay, so, so you're offering a free class. It's an all-day thing. Yes, you said six all hours, day. 14 girls and women ages 14 and up. Yeah, uh, free where, to go. Where can people sign up? Well, what they want to do is go to 
rvcrov.com. That would be Rogue Valley Krav without the Rogue Valley, just rvcrov.com. And hit our sign up button and we'll get you signed up. Yeah, as I said, free class. Yes, know, free. We're 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay. And that's a six hour class. And because it's a, uh, a sexual assault awareness month, we're doing that twice the month. Okay. Uh, we already have a class on the 20th that's full. We oh, okay. have over 60 students signed up right now. Wow, okay. So and we have we're about, talking about that's still open is the 28th. The one on the 28th, okay. we have about 10 spots left. Okay. So if you're interested, get signed up. All right, good to see you. Thanks Thank so you, much. Sir. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Stay with us. We'll be right Thank back. You.